Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And today I'm gonna take a photo walk with my friend Ricardo here. And we're going to argue which is better film or digital in 2023. Okay, not really argue, more like <laughs> <laughs> discuss, talk, <laughs> friendly talk. Yeah, we're gonna talk a bit about the pros and cons of having a film, having a film camera and how it compares with digital nowadays, but yes, we're not gonna fight. No not, not too much at least. <laughs> But first things first, which camera did you bring today? <laughs> so I brought my medium format, the Bronica SQAI. Wow, a medium format. Yeah, that's a uh, medium format is uses like a six uh, wide film. That's, six, a, that's a six by six, right? Six by six, yes. yeah. And uh, I have not used this camera yet. I got this camera like a couple of weeks ago and I haven't the chance to try it well, yet. This so is exciting. You don't even gonna... know if it works. No, I don't. Fingers crossed, it should that, work. I'm you, pretty sure it works. You took a big I risk. Am, you took I'm a big sure. risk. You're supposed to defend film photography here. What if your camera fails? Then you, you are a failure today if your camera then, fails. Then, then I'm gonna say <laughs> I screwed up the, the development all on me. <laughs> No, but it should be working. It came. This camera came from a pretty reputable <laughs> shop in Europe, so I don't have any questions about the. Okay, I have this tiny Lumix, old Lumix GF6, tiny Lumix, and a 20 millimeter lens. Let's see how this. Oh yeah, and I have like the 80 millimeters <laughs> lens, which is 35 millimeters, the equivalent of, of the 50. So. And if you are interested in film photography, please do check out Ricardo's channel. He has a film dedicated own channel on YouTube. That's right, that's right. So you can check at uh, WTF Photography. Link down below, link down below. Check that out, a lot of content about film photography, about film cameras, testing films, and you know, sometimes just <laughs> complaining about film prices. <laughs> Surprise. Good, good, good content, do check it out. Ricardo, why would you shoot film in 2023? What, what's the point? Because digital is so effortless and you can basically make any picture look like film picture anyway. I won't <laughs> argue with you about that. Uh, this is not exactly a subject of, you know, argument because it's true. A digital camera can make the look of a film camera nowadays and then usual public won't find. But there is something that goes on film cameras that you don't have on a digital world, which is the process. And the process is something that fascinates me as a photographer. The fact that you have a physical evidence of your work, that you have the negative, is actually pretty useful when you're using the digital. There is a lot of things that you learn when you're developing, a lot of things that you learn when you're actually uh, exposing for a fully manual camera that mm. you can bring to the digital world and that's never a bad thing skills are skills probably one of the things that i like about this is like the thinking process because you're limited to a certain amount of frames you don't want to waste the frames you're gonna think better mm. and with the digital very often we see ourselves doing a pretty standard or let's say uh, nothing special photo shoot and we come back home with like a thousand pictures of a subject that we have to go through. Camera shows that it can take how many pictures? I can't see it right now, but I'm su I suppose it's thousands of pictures I can shoot on this. <clears throat> uh, uh, this is not even a big memory card. But with the digital, I can see what I get with a mirrorless camera. I can see what I get even before, kind of, before I get hit the shutter. And immediately after I take the picture, I can see what I got. So I can be sure what I got. But with film, 
you can't see anything until you process your film, uh, until you screw the film processing and then you have nothing. <laughs> yeah, true. But uh, that's a fair point. But then again, it's the kind of process that you have to learn and you start trusting yourself and the knowledge that you get on the way. You know that if you expose right, you took the, 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 the right uh, metering, that you, the development, let's say that is not my screwed up development, but maybe you take the, the film to the lab, you already know that you're going to get some good uh, results out of it. But I also think in a way that this is one of the exciting parts of film as well, because you always have that kind of anticipation that, okay, did I make it or did I screw up? Hey Ricardo, what would you say to those people who say that film is way too difficult and digital is so convenient and easy and that's why they don't want to shoot film? Well, <laughs> it, this is kind of a, a, a difficult uh, point to defend in film photography <laughs> because there is no way you can get more convenient than digital photography. You mm. take the picture and you have the picture in your hand in a matter of, you know, not even a second, less than that. But then, like I said, uh, it depends a lot on which kind of uh, what you expect from photography. If you expect just like to take the picture and post in your social media and then go for the digital, it's going to be convenient and that, that's how it goes. But the thing with film is that it's a lot simpler than most people think about. If you take a, the right ISO and the right film for, what you, for, for the application that you're searching, there is nothing complicated about. <laughs> You're gonna, especially How the many, complication. What kind of a menu does this camera have? <laughs> menu. Okay. This is the menu of this camera. That's you know, it's this is about it. <laughs> yeah. And, and there isn't. So there is, of course, like the convenience of the digital is unbeatable. Period. All right. But there are a lot to learn from film that is gonna make you a better digital photographer if that is what you're looking for. Some people, me included, sometimes I like to use manual focus lenses on my digital camera and it makes me slower but it also makes me think more and it, it makes the whole process more like a uh, tangible somehow yeah it, it does have this kind of thing when you have the 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 film camera or like you say the manual uh, lens on your digital camera for some reason it makes you feel that you know that there is something more that you need to pay more attention because there isn't a machine deciding things for you or that for me you Thing is, Ricardo thought he knew the camera. He was too, how do you say, uh, snobbish, snobbish <laughs> to not to read the, the instructions. No, I actually did. Or the manual. <laughs> you did, and you still didn't know how to load the film. There's your hardcore film shooter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, eventually we do mistakes. Eventually. Ah, uh, look at this. All right. Perfect. You just needed to practice uh, like one time with the real film and then now yeah. you know it. But what about the cost of film photography? I mean, a lot of people complain. I made a film topic not so long ago and a lot of people complained. They complained it's too difficult, but they also complained that it's too expensive these days. It's getting expensive. It used to be a lot cheaper during a period of time. Uh, I think that for the past 15 years, it was pretty cheap. You know, we could get like a roll of film for, you know, six, seven euros, mm. uh, Kodak or Ilford. But in the other hand, the big difference is that this camera, for example, this camera was built on the early 80s and mm. is it still going. And I don't think that there, there are, is... There are no firmware updates for that. No, <laughs> no, 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 no firmware updates, no nothing. and. These cameras last. They are built like a like a tank. You can actually hurt someone if this, you know, falling your feet, for example. But 
the point is, you don't see digital cameras nowadays lasting this long. But what I'm saying is that you don't even have the, the, the thought of trying to fix an old digital camera to use it because there is no point. And these things here is the kind of thing that, oh, because you got this camera from your grandpa or from, from another important person or something you bought on a, in your youth or <laughs> something like that. So you want to keep it and you know that it works. It's still making what, great images. What did you it. pay for this? For this one, uh, well, for this one, I didn't pay because I traded an old no, but camera what, what on would it. Be the but price? the price for this camera nowadays is going to be around six fifty, seven hundred. The, the whole package for the everything, lens, lens body, and the film bag. Everything exactly six, the way 600. it is. Six seven hundred euros, it's depending too, on condition. It's not too bad. No, for, not for a medium format camera. With film, you only pay when you shoot. Exactly. With the digital, you, you pretty much uh, <laughs> pay it all exactly. at once. Even if you don't use it, you, you end up paying Absolutely. pretty much the same amount. And digital sort of gets cheaper and cheaper, kind of, the more you shoot. Yeah. But the film is kind of opposite. Uh, because if you don't shoot, you don't pay anything. You, had, you have to buy the camera, of course. But after that, if you don't shoot, you don't pay. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think we reach any kind of conclusion here, but I hope you still enjoyed this little photo walk slash discussion about digital and film photography. More about film photography, I think, requires uh, such a motor mouth that it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to defend digital here but anyway i hope you enjoyed this thanks so much for joining in and uh, make sure to check out ricardo's channel too and uh, if you really like this video please consider buying me a cup of coffee there's a link down below for that thanks so much and uh, see you in the next one thanks a lot guys and remember check out the channel yeah. <laughs>